A nightmare on I-10 this morning following a violent crash in Waller County. It was the middle of the night. I-10 west of Katy near Peterson Road. The trailer in the back of an 18-wheeler broke free, then slammed backwards into a second truck in the westbound lanes. One driver died. The Katy Freeway was shut down for hours while the debris was cleared off the highway. 100 gallons of mostly diesel fuel spilled onto part of the freeway and onto the grass on the north side of the highway. But TxDOT would not allow the truck's own insurance company to choose the cleanup contractor for the job. Instead, TxDOT officials ordered the job be done by the state's own hazmat contractor, Hazmat International, HMI. Travis, get out of my Out. We're good now, honey. Just do, you, do you want to call the police and have them escorted out of my office? Call them. Call them. You've seen us get thrown out of HMI headquarters in Conroe. The company's owners are longtime Montgomery County lawmen, Dustin Rutherford, and former Montgomery County Constable Travis Bishop. I know the state has never had a problem with me. In recent months, the pair has somehow escaped organized crime charges sought by state investigators for motor vehicle tax fraud. The discrepancy was first discovered by Dolce Fino Consulting. We got the receipts of the actual vehicles. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference in the money. You got to file something someplace, go file it. You cheating? You cheating the taxpayers? I don't cheat nobody. HMI officials were allowed to pay back the amount they legally owed. The Montgomery County District Attorney's Office apparently chose to forgive the false documents that were filed. It's not the only curiosity we've seen in Montgomery County. So far, the DA has seemed to ignore allegations from former employees, accusations that HMI falsified safety training required for folks who handle this kind of stuff. Basically, they gave you a book with all the answers in it, and then they gave you an answer sheet. And you filled out the answer sheet with all the answers out of the book. A former administrator even filed a sworn affidavit documenting the alleged wrongdoing, including charges that HMI falsified billing. Let's take a look at that accident on I-10. HMI's bills, more than $54,000. Two days to dig up the contaminated grass on a small stretch of the highway, haul it away, then replace it with hydro seed for new grass. TxDOT has repeatedly told us that no one has ever complained about HMI's billings before. But we have records showing insurance company investigators have challenged HMI's invoices many times, including this one when they first arrived a month after the accident. Quoting, $54,690 for a 100-gallon spill on the highway and shoulder? HMI had charged for three roll-off trucks to carry away the contaminated grass, when the waste, based on the measurement, could easily have fit in just one truck. $4,800 for closing lanes, even though the freeway was clearly reopened the first day. $2,400 to close a lane the second day, even though this picture shows traffic moving on all lanes. There were missing receipts from that accident scene. $1,750 for alleged decontamination fees. $3,450 in disposal fees. $1,200 for two soil samples allegedly tested. On that day, the new grass was sprayed. HMI billed the insurance company for nine people, even though they had just three trucks. But it's the bill for toll road charges that take the cake in this case. $3,120 over two days. It takes about an hour to get from HMI's Conroe headquarters to the crash scene. But drive along the Sam Houston Tollway from 45 to I-10, and you pass through just two tolls, $1.75 apiece. Do the math. Seven trucks traveling through four tolls there and back. The insurance company did the math. It's 49 bucks. You know how much HMI charged? $1,500, a markup on a government toll. Quoting, toll fees of $1,500, the insurance company wrote, is outrageous. Think that's bad? The next day, the bills from HMI show fewer people, fewer trucks, but the toll charges, they don't go down. They go up to $1,620. Who inflates the cost of a toll on a bill? If that's legal, it shouldn't be. 
When HMI sends invoices directly to the state of Texas, they aren't even allowed to charge for tolls. Like other state hazmat contractors, HMI submitted a bid for what they would charge on cleanups that taxpayers get stuck paying for. Insurance companies have long argued, if TxDOT picks HMI or any other contractor, they should bill those TxDOT amounts, not the inflated charges. Look at the bills for another accident TxDOT gave HMI to clean up. HMI's bill was $71,490, including a late fee for not paying on time. Based on their state bid, the insurance company argued the bill should have been less than $18,000. There's no question the state hazmat contract has been good for HMI. Dustin Rutherford now owns 37 acres and a million-dollar house behind this gate in Montgomery. Constable Bishop, he has a homestead valued at $1.6 million now and another home in New Braunfels. But there have been ongoing complaints some textile inspectors on accident scenes are showing favoritism to HMI. You know, we show up to a job and uh, the tech dot and uh, HMI guys, they start talking. You can just look on their face. They know, you know, they have that little smirk. They know what's going to happen and we know what's going to happen. When a load of granite countertops fell off this truck on I-10, a competing company offered to clean it up for five grand. Drivers are supposed to get to choose who does their cleanup, but TxDOT was accused of steering the job to HMI. We didn't pick any, we didn't pick any tow company. The police themselves called the tow company. They had said we had to use a certain company and we just went along with them. The bill was nearly $30,000. Just for cleaning up some granite? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, it's crazy. Last December, TxDOT investigated possible contract violations by HMI. They proved the company had received duplicate payments and overpayments from the state over time and kept the money. At least $18,000 was involved. And HMI was busted for improper disposal of waste, including allegations some hazardous materials were improperly disposed by Bishop Environmental Services on the site of an ATV mud park the family owns up in Spring. Glendora. Bishop Environmental is owned by Cole Bishop, Travis's son. For us, that was simply confirmation of a sworn affidavit we had received months earlier. Allegations Bishop would dispose of hazardous material for free, and HMI would invoice and falsely claim that it cost them money to dispose of the material. We've learned that TCEQ and State Controller had now inspected the site of the alleged illegal dumping. No word yet on what they found. We were told to get off that property before we could even look. You Equip need to get out of here. Well, we're leaving. You, you need ask, to get out of here. It's the first time someone asked me to leave and would be more than happy to leave. Well, we're asking you to leave. TxDOT won't tell us who has bid on the lucrative new state contract for hazmat cleanup in the Houston area. But they say there's been no investigation into allegations inspectors are steering hazmat cleanup business to HMI. And despite the evidence of possible fraudulent billing we just showed you and illegal dumping found by state investigators, HMI curiously still has a state contract. TxDOT hasn't explained why.